Welcome back to Jersey Central on the new talk radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It's Bert. I had the privilege on Sunday evening to attend one of the opening performances of one of the best shows that you're going to see throughout this entire season. It was at Paper Mill Playhouse in Milburn, and it's the East Coast premiere of a terrific show that is called The Outsider. It is on stage at Paper Mill through February 18th. You can visit papermill.org for tickets and information. But joining me now on the Jersey Central Newsmaker hotline is one of the stars of the show it's a he plays ned newley he's a guy that finds himself all of a sudden thrust into the office of governor and we have actor lenny wolpe joining us this morning on wctc hey lenny it's bert bear and good morning how are you i'm great bert thanks so much for having me on what a terrific uh, performance uh, for you and really everybody in that cast lenny uh yeah it's a great group just yeah. expertly expertly cast uh, for everybody for the roles that they play uh talk about your role uh, of ned newley and this character that you're playing in the show the outsider well ned uh is a lieutenant governor of a uh an unidentified state, you can, the audience can decide which state we're in, I think there are a lot of clues, um, who very unexpectedly becomes governor because of a scandal, and he is a very qualified, but very, very shy, not a very public person, and all of a sudden he has to be in this very public arena, and you sort of watch his emergence and how he deals with that. But he is somebody who sort of suffers from panic attacks when he has to be in any public stage so and it's just how he navigates that journey i think the way i i was able to perceive ned newley was uh, you know what you look at politics as kind of being the ultimate blend of style and substance he he's all substance but not so much in the style department no, and we know we know how we know how political office runs nowadays though right right exactly i think that's a perfect way to uh described it uh, was was your portrayal of him lenny is it based on any person living or dead or maybe a character who you mm, drew from when you were kind of formulating no, him? not at all it was um i, I a couple of years ago they, we did a, a reading of it for paper melt to see if they wanted to produce the play and even then um it's just a character that i just seem to understand in a lot of ways um that his his shyness and reticence and um so no it actually isn't it's just you know somebody that i sort of discovered and formulated on my own yeah Excellent. And again, the show is called The Outsider. Uh, it's running through February 18th at Paper Mill Playhouse in Milburn. You can get tickets at 973-376-4343 or visit the website papermill.org. And even great discounts if you bring along a group of friends and uh, let everybody get a chance to see this terrific show, which is just uh, getting great reviews everywhere you go. And uh, having the, seen the show, I can see why it is being so just so oh. very well accepted. Every character, Lenny, including yours and everybody, whether it's the newscaster, the political people that are involved, is cast so marvelously. Talk about the people you're sharing the stage with. It's beautifully cast. Yeah, I agree with you. It's a fantastic group. Um, Julia Duffy is in it, who uh, people might remember from uh, New Heart. And years ago, we we did a series together called Baby Talk about over 25 years ago, so it's kind of a reunion for the two of us. And she plays plays this sort of expert... um, pollster who who really is our go-to person to see how effective our campaigning is and then uh, burke moses who was the original guest on in beauty and the beast on broadway plays uh, uh arthur vance this um uh, kind of political giant in terms of running campaigns and is full of bluster and and is just a powerful presence the complete opposite of ned newley and he's fantastic uh, Kelly Curran is plays a new, newscaster, Rachel, who's sort of thrust in the middle of all the chaos that happens. Um, uh, Aaron, who plays Lulu Peaks, who I don't want to describe her too much, but she's a a new hire, a temporary hire, who uh, emerges in very uh, unexpected ways throughout the play. Um, who else is there? Uh, 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 oh, Mike Houston, who plays a cameraman who's sort of the, um, oh, he's Mr. Everyman, and, and very quiet, and then all of a sudden he has a very poignant, poignant moment in the play where he expresses, I think, the sentiments of most of the people in this country. Yeah. And then you have uh, Manuel Feliciano, who's, who's pretty much the lead in the show, who is uh, the chief of staff for Ned Newley and really takes him by the hand and kind of guides him through life and is 
really pretty remarkable in the play, I think. I yeah. hope I did not leave anyone out. No, no, the, you're, no you're right. Okay. The, the cast is marvelous. As a guy who's worked in the media for 20 years, your cameraman is spot on, and his reactions and what he says is just oh. perfect. <laughs> exactly what you would expect a camera, a news cameraman to be, right? Right, uh, right, 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 right. Uh, But yeah. the show is, is just great. And w- everybody knows we have an expectation of the quality of performances that come from Paper Mill Playhouse, and this one absolutely just knocks it out of the park. Again, it is you called. Are terrific. Uh, it's terrific. It's a great Thank show. You. I'm telling you, Lenny, you got to be real proud yeah. of this. You should be. We are. We are. It's a great group. And, and, and you know, we, we had like seven previews before opening, and it was just from the first preview. We were shocked at how immediately the audience responded to it because you don't know what's going to happen until you have an audience. And it, it's re- it was just. It just lifted us in ways we couldn't have anticipated. It. Yeah. It's been great. Yeah, and if yeah. you thought the little teaser that was going around online with the current and former governors of New Jersey, that oh, boy, great? that's just a little whet of the appetite oh, for the show. Yeah. <laughs> so clever, yeah. Awesome right. stuff. All right. Again, it is yeah. called uh, The Outsider, and uh, you even get a camp. They gave me a campaign button, Ned Newley for governor, when I came out on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. I got two of them. That's who I'm going to vote for. But for <laughs> right. Uh, get tickets at papermill.org or call 973-3. 4343. It is the East Coast premiere of The Outsider. It's on stage through February 18th. Uh, great body of work for you, too, Lenny. Uh, I've seen you on some shows on HBO. Uh, talk about some of the other things you've done. Well, I, I had lived in California for a while and did a lot of TV like in the 90s um, uh, and was on like every sitcom and hour show, you know, Murphy Brown and Roseanne and Golden Girls and L.A. Law and Matlock and stuff. And then and then moved back to New York um, about 12 years ago, and I've mainly been doing theater again, which is my true love. And then uh, a bunch of Broadway shows and a lot of regional stuff. I did Wicked and Jersey Chaperone and Bullets Over Broadway and stuff. So, um, so it's been nice to sort of have those two little sections of my career. And uh, uh, and but it's I definitely am happier being awesome. back in New York. I Good stuff. Great for you, yeah. and uh, you're absolutely remarkable as as Dead Newley in this latest show here Thank too, you. Lenny. So that's great. So let's get everybody to come on out and see you. It's at Paper That'd Mill Playhouse uh, through February 18th. Do not miss the hilarious new show called The Outsider. Lenny Wolpe, congratulations again, and thank you for your time this morning. And good luck Thanks with The Outsider. So much. Thanks, Bert. It's been a pleasure.